I know it's not too clear. It's just convenient, though. Okay, uh, 150 watt HPS, 250 HPS, 400 HPS, 600 HPS, and 1,000 water. My question is this. Can you run 1,000 watts in one room without blowing the circuit or your circuit breakers or starting a fire? Is it safe to run 1,000 watts? Now, 1,000 watts, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think 1,000 watts is 8.3 amps, correct? And I also think it's 150,000 lumens, correct? Okay, you got got that with me? Okay, I was thinking of getting a 600, but I want something, just one light that covers the whole damn room. So I was thinking um, a 600 is 6.6 6 amps, and that's only 1.7 amps away from a 1,000 water, which isn't really that much difference. So... Here's the deal. The 600 high pressure sodium is 5 amps, and it's, um, what did I do with it? I think it's uh, 90, 90 or 95,000 lumens. So you're looking at the difference between a 600 and a 1,000 is 400 watt high pressure sodium, which is 3.3 amps, and it is also 55,000 lumens. So hopefully I got that right. And I think a 250 is 28,000 lumens or 24,000 lumens. And 150 watt high pressure sodium is um, 16,800 lumens. Basically, four 68 watt CFLs, something like that. So uh, I would be looking at 150,000 lumens, and it would cover, um, I'd leave it up fairly high, so I wouldn't be getting 150,000 lumens. I'd leave it up fairly high, so it would probably, I don't know, I'd still be getting about 75,000 probably, maybe less than that. You, you probably have to keep them up fairly high because it's so much, that's a lot though, 8.3 amps, because your room's only like 13 amps. I live in an older house. See, we even have the old wooden floors. All right, anyways, just some ideas running through my head here. Uh, I know KB Grow Kids going up to the 600 which is 90 to 90, 90 to 95,000 uh, lumens, which is a lot. I am running 110,000 lumens because I'm running uh, 400 watts uh, HPS times two. And the nice thing about that, what I want, what I was thinking of doing is buying a 600 and also getting a 250, but I would take the 250 and, and get a conversion ball, making it 100% uh, metal halide the whole time. So I'd have 250 watts of metal halide covering like a three by three area of just metal halide and then I would have a 600 uh, full uh, high pressure sodium and I would just use the cheesy little $18 bulbs at Home Depot uh, because they're high in the yellows high in the oranges and they have a, a slight hint of red so it's high in the yellow and high in the oranges which is fine to me because I would be making it up with the 250 watt conversion bulb which would be metal halide so it would be uh, it would be 600 and 250, or I could buy a thousand water, but that would be the only light I could run in there. So just running some ideas. I do like the 150,000 lumens, but then again, the 600 is nice. For veg, I'd have to run the 250, which is no problem. Run the 250 for veg. I mean, I, my my fast veg. I have a 125 watt CFL for for my veg side, which is fine having some issues with burning um but anyways just running stuff through my head here on a little paper plate here which i always do but a thousand watts uh my question is can you run a thousand watts in a room with like one or two fans is that possible is that even possible or do you have to rewire the room that's my main question it's 150,000 lumens it's 8.3 amps and it's a thousand watts can you run a thousand watts in a room uh in a 13 amp uh, circuit um it's 8.3 amps it's a thousand watts and uh it would be the only light i'd have in there with a couple of fans is that possible on 8.3 amps or on 13 amps so if anybody knows get a hold of me so my question is a thousand watts can you run this in a normal house from the 50s on a regular circuit without rewiring your house so um, get a hold of me if you run a 1,000-watt high-pressure sodium or a 1,000-watt metal halide. I uh, would like the information. So just running figures here on a paper plate.
kind of cheesy, but oh well, fuck it. So that's what I'm looking for. Can you run a thousand watts, which is 8.3 amps, I believe, 150,000 lumens in one room without changing your circuitry over in a house from 1950, which is 13 amps? Uh, I think yeah, it's 13 amps. So, all right, get a hold of me, guys. Thank you.